here in St. Mary's, Georgia, which is right across the border of Florida, pretty close to Jacksonville. We're at a, a crossroads, literally, where we're trying to figure out whether it's best for us to hit a couple places in Georgia and go up the East Coast, or should we hit a couple places in Georgia while going west and go back to Alabama and Mississippi and Louisiana, which we did not get a chance to perform in as we drove through real quickly to get down to Florida because of the cold. So we got to find shows to do and it's not in a straight line. So that's where we're at. Oh, oh my God, it's so cold. How was it? Freezing. Hi, my name is Anne Marie Ott, and I'm the owner of the Bloody Bucket, better known in the phone book as the Crooked River Lounge. Now, my husband and I are both retired Navy. Bloody Bucket is unique just because of the name, but uniquely this bar is special because it's for all family. It's an extended family. Everybody takes care of each other. When push comes to shove, you know, you can count on people being there for you. When I was contacted by Project Highway, it was April Fools. I, and I didn't realize it until I had started calling people and said, hey, do you want to be on this, you know, Project Highway? And they said, well, it's April Fools. You're sure it's not a joke? And He's getting very angry at the dartboard. He's almost as tall as the dartboard. It's, it's so funny to see a man that large with these little tiny darts. <laughs> you know, I've got to tell you, you, you put a little more mustard on that thing, the right of the wall. Look at the size of it. God. And he's got a little tiny beer. Well, actually, it's probably a huge beer, but it looks like it's a little tiny beer. <laughs> Barb had given me the website, so I went to it and I'm like, shh. So I didn't look like I had egg on my face. So I was excited. When you're little, like there's always somebody that'll tell you, okay, when you sneeze, cover your mouth. Where is the woman that tells the lady coming up to 35 when you sneeze, cross your legs? Right? Ain't that a bitch? You have no idea what I'm talking about, but give her 15 years. You will, oh, you learn from her? Way to throw your mom under the bus. Oh, you are so grounded. Ugh. Our customers, our, our family, are very special, and we've done all kinds of things here for our people. Um, our friend Walter, who had passed away almost two years ago now, um, in fact, his ashes are behind the tree. That was his widow's request because he loved it here so much. We've had weddings here. Uh, we've had two. My husband and I got remarried here, and a friend of ours got married. She drove a Harley in the back. Renovating this is, is ongoing. You, you, if you look at the floor, it's kind of unlevel where it's starting to settle and stuff. So, yeah, lots of TLC, but it's worth it.
the shame. Yeah, yeah, see, I love you. I want to party with you. She was like, ugh. Well, you know, it's, it's kind of family hour, so I'll keep it clean. But the walk of shame is you go out and you're partying and you're doing stuff you probably shouldn't be doing with people that you may or may not know. And then the next morning, you try and get from your car to your apartment without anybody seeing you. And you've got that, you know, like, freshly scrogged hair and a run into pantyhose and your clouds might not be buttoned quite right, you know? Yeah, did I get that right? Is that how that is? Okay. What? Patty's in your purse? Is that what you said? No Patty. Oh, see, there you go. Right on. Now she has a backup pair. That's so cool. Ah, that's a wise woman. Well, I still have the walk of shame, but it's a little bit different. My walk of shame now is when I have to leave a full cart of groceries at the checkout counter because I forgot my pen number. <laughs> My name is Richie Pinto Jr. Um, I also go by Hayes, and uh, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I'm a New York Rican. <laughs> I moved to Georgia to start a new life. Um, everybody tells you that if, when, you, when you have a background, you can't do nothing with your life. So I came to start over in a new place to try to see if I could you know, change my stars and stripes. My dream is to um, get my Facebook group off the ground. It's called Sneaker Freak. We are, we're a buy, sell, trade community. I also advertise for all the new and upcoming releases, get people's opinions, and it's just basically, uh, the sneaker community is an untapped resource. Everybody loves sneakers, everybody enjoys hats, and, and we share a passion for it. We recently had a convention in Jacksonville called Laced Up, and there was over 3,000 people in attendance. The fire marshal had to come out and get people out. That's how big the sneakerhead community is. So my dream is to make a place, a website, where people can go order and not get screwed over because I have in the past, I have a personal person of this. My ultimate goal is a venture, you know? Hopefully link up with Nike, get a contract with New Era, and things of that nature. Um, like I said, I've been trying, and these things have barriers because of my background. So I'm trying to make it public to the world that even though they tell you you serve your time, you really don't serve your time. You serve it for the rest of your life. You can find us at sneakerfreak. At Facebook, there's no .com. It's on Facebook. It's a group, and it's spelled S-N-E-E-K apostrophe R F R E E K, and it will pull up. There's two of them. There's one that says Camden Edition, and there's one that's regular. Log on to the regular one. It's an open group. All you gotta do is ask to join, and we'll automatically be accepted.
This year, though, I'm going to do my taxes online for the first time. That's right. No, not to save money or anything like that. Don't go like that. I can't face my H and R Block guy anymore. Get that crazy girl on the, on the outside. Yes. <laughs> She worked for the IRS. <laughs> Is that what's going on here? Uh, we were on the road and I realized that my driver's license was about to expire. And we're, you know, thousands of miles back, you know, from home. And I was lucky because, God, I love the internet. I could do it online. So it asked me, do you want to be an organ donor? And I was like, sure, but God, I feel sorry for whoever's going to get it, you know? You think about that? I am blind. Who's going to want my eyes? And here's the thing. Like, I don't I used to be a wild, I used to be a wild child. I was. And it's like my liver is completely destroyed by alcohol. Okay? Cocaine shot my heart. Like, that's worthless. And all I can say is it's a really good thing that they don't reuse the cervix because... Churches fried chicken and churches. Everywhere there's churches. <laughs> good as the sauce so make sure you try Henry Hill's good fella gourmet sauces. Henry Hill was the former mobster whose story was immortalized in the Oscar award winning movie Goodfellas. Henry Hill was obsessed with two things, being a gangster and being a cook. Goodfellas sauces are straight from Henry Hill's original recipes. Slow cooked and made from the freshest ingredients available, these recipes have authentic old world flavors combined with a good portion of genuine Sicilian tradition. One taste and you'll see why Henry Hill's Goodfellas gourmet sauces are becoming the most popular marinara sauces in the United States. So try Goodfellas marinara rosa or fra diablo or Sunday gravy, the same recipe as the gravy being made when the helicopters were flying over Henry Hill's house in the movie Goodfellas. Visit www.goodfellasfoods.com or call 308-539-0668 to place your order today. Hold me and kiss me and tell me you're mine. 